Many times for friends and family of severe brain injury patients, it may seem like the end. But the story of a local man at Bakersfield's Center for Neuroskills is one of hope and remarkable recovery. 23 ABC Stephen Hicks has more. I've made a lot of progress since I've been here. Four years ago, Larry Steinar fell off his back porch and suffered a severe brain injury to his right temporal and left frontal lobe. I still don't have a memory of, uh, of when I first got here. But his caregivers remember someone who showed severe deficiencies. Angry language, physical aggression, non-participation where he would refuse to do things. <laughs> Through intense physical therapy at Bakersfield Center for Neuroskills, he was able to recover his motor skills. His scale from 0 out of 100 when he first came in was around 30. Now it's improved to up around 90. His improvement is strikingly visible in his art. He was in so much pain and agony when he first entered that he didn't want to paint. And when he did, the result was often dark, muddied, or blurry. Doing activities uh, that give you joy is something that ultimately can change someone's life. He fell in love with painting and suddenly the images became clearer, brighter, and more detailed. Sean saw the improvement and asked Larry to paint a picture of his journey. Larry calls it going from darkness into light. Not so much that I remember how dark it was, but I'm seeing the light and that's making me very happy. He's so appreciative of the help he's received that he wanted to go out and touch other people's lives. Old MacDonald had a fight. He's been volunteering at a local preschool for almost a year now, reading books, singing songs, and doing artwork. Those at Garden Pathways say he's become part of the classroom community. The kids notice his absence and Larry often calls to make sure that we know he's not going to be here because he misses being here. Hope is not easily come by following a brain injury, but because of Larry's, those at CNS can show patients what is possible. It just goes to show that life is not over when you suffer a brain injury. Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC. Yeah, life is definitely not over. Larry's transitioning to an assisted living program later this month, but he won't be going alone. He recently bought a ring and proposed to another patient at CNS, and they're planning to get married in the near future. That was a great story.